hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is nancy and if this is your first time kindly subscribe share and like my videos in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this lovely crop top and you can see that it can be styled on a trouser skirt or even a bum shirt so let's get started the name of the fabric i'm working with is an ankara print fabric and the amount of fabric i used is one yard and 20 inches the first step is to fold the fabric into two then I also went ahead to fold the fabric into two again. So I practically folded the fabric into four. And since there is no zipper at the center back of this top, it wasn't necessary to include a zipper allowance. Before going further, I needed to be sure about the wideness of the fold. So my bust circumference divided by four is 8.5 inches. I added about four inch extra to make sure that this fold is enough for me to place my body measurements but if it's smaller you can easily adjust the fold and if it's larger then you can also adjust the fold so this first horizontal line is the starting line which is also serving as the shoulder line the next step is to mark the neck width i usually mark three inches as my neck width but for this style i used four inches so i can conveniently wear the top since it has no zipper for a plus size person you can mark 4.5 inches while for the neck depth i marked 3.5 inches for a plus size person you can go as low as 4.5 inches or 4 inches all right now i'll connect the two points in form of a curved neckline to get the shoulder slope i divided the shoulder measurement by two the shoulder measurement divided by two is 6.5 inches i added half inch to an allowance which made it seven inches on these seven inches points i placed my tip vertically to mark one inch which i connected to the neck width to get the ammo curve i divided my ammo circumference by two which is eight inches i placed the tip on the tip of the shoulder slope vertically to mark eight inches which i connected the tip of the shoulder slope to that point and from this point i'll create an horizontal line which will serve as the bust line for the arm hole curve i placed my tip on the arm hole line to mark the midpoint which i used a french curve to connect the points to the bust line as shown To eliminate the excess fold from the armhole of the front piece, I placed the tape inward from the midpoint of the armhole to mark half an inch, which I connected to the tip of the shoulder slope and also to the bust line. So this new armhole line is for the front piece alone, while the previous one is just for the back piece. To get the desired length I wanted, I placed my tip from the shoulder to one inch above my belly button, which was 17 inches. So obviously, I've also placed the tip on the fabric directly on the shoulder line vertically to mark 17 inches, but I don't want much line on the fabric. I'll just add my sewing allowance for the M, which is 1.5 inches, and that will be 18.5 inches altogether. And this horizontal line will also serve as the waistline. Take note that for this particular style, I'll be working with just the bust circumference. So on the bust line, I placed the bust circumference divided by 4, and I also added 3 inches sewing allowance to the side. And on the waistline, I placed my bust measurement again divided by 4, and I also added 3 inches sewing allowance to the side. I'll be connecting the two points together. So the next thing I did was to add half inch sewing allowance to the top of the shoulder slope in which I'll be using to attach both the front piece and the back piece. So I went ahead to trim out the armhole for just the front piece. For the sleeves, I folded the fabric into two and I folder folded it into two again. So I practically folded it into four and after cutting, I should have two pieces of the sleeve. 
so the next thing is to know the wideness of the m as this is a bell sleeve mine is 26 inches if you divide by two that will be 13 inches and what i have here is about 15 inches so i'll just go ahead with the markings so i'll mark the starting line of the sleeve I placed the tape from the starting line to mark the desired length. So my desired length is 23 inches. I added 1 inch sewing allowance to that which made it 24 inches. And the entire length of my fabric here is actually 24 inches. So that is fine. Now I'll go ahead to mark the cap sleeve which is 4.5 inches. For a plus size person you can go as low as 5 inch or 5.5 inches. On the cap sleeve line I'll place my arm O circumference divided by 2 which is 8 inches. To connect this point to the top of the shoulder line as shown. On this slant line, I'll place my tape to mark the midpoint. And on the midpoint, I'll connect it upward to the top of the shoulder and downward to the arm or circumference. I added one inch to an allowance to the side. On the M line, I placed my tape horizontally to mark the m circumference which is 13 inches and then i connected this point to the arm o circumference you can decide to leave the shape of the bell sleeve this way but if you'd like to make it look stylish just the way it is on the thumbnail on the lady with a short skirt i placed the tape here to mark 1.5 inches if you want the slant shape to show very well then you can just increase that point to about 3 inches. Now I'll connect this point down to the end of this other point. The next step is to trim out the sleeve. It's time to attach the pieces together. This is the back piece of the top and this is the front piece which I placed on the back piece. I took this to the sewing machine to secure the top of the shoulder slope as shown by half an inch. Now I'll be using a bias tape to secure the neckline. After securing the neckline, the next thing I did was take this to my sewing machine to secure the sides of the top by one inch. Now I'll turn the fabric to the right side of the fabric itself. Here I'll be using a bias tape to secure the M of the sleeve. So I place the bias tape on the M of the sleeve take note that this is the right side of the fabric and when i go to this sharp edge that has that v-shape i folded the bias tape in form of a v shape as well and at this point i raised the machine footer to continue the stitching this technique is very important because if you don't raise the machine footer at that point it turns the shape of the m to a curved shape instead of like a sharp v shape so that is just the essence of doing that The next step is to fold the sleeve into two. To know the wideness of the armhole on the sleeve, you have to work with the armhole on the body of the top. The round armhole on the top is 10 inches. So I would make sure that the round armhole on the sleeve is also 10 inches. So here yeah, I marked 10 inches which I would connect downwards to the end.
the next step is to attach the sleeves to the armhole of the blouse. The final step is to secure the aim of the blouse by folding it in. Alright guys, thanks for watching to the very end. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, share and like my videos. And also put on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new tutorials. Thank you.